Check it out. This is it's how fresh this is how pizza is born. Pizza, a food so loved that countries all around the world try to recreate it in their own way. I'm here with my man Deepak, who's making the base for our pizza right now. Today, I'm hopping all around Asia to find the best and most unique Asian pizza fusion. These pans are actually made to hold auto parts, like nuts really? and bolts. So that's why it's called Detroit style pizza. We'll see if India can make pizza on non bread. Tandoor oven. It's crazy hot inside. What happens when you mix Detroit? Detroit style pizza with Korean ingredients. He handed me this octopus pizza, said good luck, and then walked away. I don't know what that meant. And finally, V will join me for a pizza crossover I never expected here in Vietnam. I understand the idea of cucumber, I just don't like it myself. Whether you like it thick or thin, it's pizza time. Indian chefs have a PhD in spice, employing contrasting flavors, heat, and a masterful blending of seasonings. That is ridiculous. I mean, just taste the skill. The number of spices, spices in here correct. that work so well together. Beautiful, vibrant spices, flavors, aromas. Right now, I'm headed to Duty Free Restaurant to take on their butter chicken pizza. So the main idea of Duty Free was to bring people together in a restaurant and create food which is comfort. Food including their drunken chicken tikka. Wow. <laughs> so tender and it's still steaming. Game over. And loads of creative drinks. Oh, I feel like a college girl again. I mean, guy, boy. But right now, I'm making a beeline for the kitchen to check out this pizza. We're not gonna go with the typical Italian bread. We're gonna go with a non base for our butter chicken pizza. I like it. He's gonna slap up that bread a little bit like it did something wrong to him. And then he's gonna throw it in the tandoor here. So we're gonna have kind of an ovular pizza today. Tandoor oven, it's crazy hot inside. Oh, he's gotta get the other side a little bit. There it is, bam. That is a nice pizza base. Right there. Step two, we put our chicken into the tandoor oven, making a tandoori chicken. But eventually, it'll be butter chicken. I'm here with my man Deepak, who's making the base for our pizza right now. Perfect. Start it with some butter. Call it butter chicken for a reason. That is a lot of butter. Next, dried Fenwick seeds, then the gravy, including tomato puree, garlic, and ginger. This is the same base for any butter chicken, just like this then salt, sugar, cream. This is gonna be really one of the most rich pizzas I've ever had. Then their tandoori chicken. Chicken we just took out of the tandoori oven. Lots of more butter. We started with butter, and it is the circle of butter life. We're ending with a little bit more butter. That's about as authentic as you get for a butter chicken yeah, same pizza. Finally, the assembly. The butter chicken base is slathered on our non bread with chunks of tandoori chicken and cheese on top of that. Then even more freshly cut chicken. Some herbs, and it's ready to go. We're gonna throw this in the oven, and we'll see you in the restaurant. I am here with the co founder of Duty Free, Varun. Pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Butter chicken pizza. I've never seen anything like it. From the base to the top, like everything here, it's India. The entire dish is a mixture of four different dishes put together to make one hell of a dish. And the butter part is no joke. So this is super rich. So 1,000 calories down your throat. Yeah. <laughs> Should we jump into it? Cheers. Oh, yes. The cheese is all stretchy. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. It's a whole bundle of cheese bursting in your mouth with all the flavors of Indian spices around it. This is so incredible, I can hardly so this describe is basically, it. This is the, the chicken which was finished in, mm -hmm. in clear one. So that's how you get all the smoky flavors. It's smoky, the gravy is smooth, like heavy, fatty, just the right amount of cheese. That naan works perfectly as a base. It's and nice. It's, it's so crisp, it's so thin. And crunchy, yeah, yeah. Without, without being uh, those, soggy or anything. And, the, and you can complement that with a sip of beer. Yes. Cheers. Itaewon is Seoul's international restaurant neighborhood, and today I'm meeting up with Key, chef partner at Motor City Pizza, who have brought Detroit-style pizza to the land of the morning call. What is Detroit-style pizza? You gotta bake it in a blue steel pan. It's got this rectangular shape. The cheese goes all the way to the edge, so you get a crust while it bakes. The sauce goes on last because you can't bake it with the sauce or the dough gets too soggy. This pan right here is actually straight from Detroit. These pans are actually made to hold auto parts, like nuts really? and bolts, so that's why it's called Detroit-style pizza. Pizza. Oddly enough, I'll be trying my first Detroit style pizza here in Korea. Starting with Motor City Pizza's signature called the Jackson 5. Here we have our mozzarella and jack cheese. The important part is to get this cheese all the way to the edge so it caramelizes. Chopped jalapenos, good old American bacon. Koreans love bacon. Some good size basically like uncured bacon, right? Right. Gotta have pepperoni, then our Italian spice blend. This is gonna go in the oven for about eight minutes, then we'll garnish with the sauce. Once finished, the pizza is removed from the pan. Next, key cut 
cuts the pizza and garnishes it with ranch and marinara sauce. Why is the ranch green, bro? We make it in-house and we use a lot of fresh herbs, not your Hidden Valley ranches. Uh, right. right away, it's like a little heavy, doughy, cheesy. Let's try it out. Wow, I think it's got layers. A good amount of cheesiness. Doughy, cheesy, and then crunchy on the outside. A little kick of jalapeno. The ranch kicks in last. It's very herby, it's nice. I could get back to 300 pounds quick with this. As delicious as this is, we are here for the Korean-inspired pizza. We're gonna talk about that next. Today, Kia is going off menu to create two Korea inspired pizzas. One based off Jeyuk and the other based off Jukubi, which are these little tiny octopuses. They're gonna put the baby octopus onto the pizza. These are so tasty and chewy. Once it's melted with cheese and everything, oh, I can't wait to see what that's like. Jeyuk is a Korean pork belly and chili paste stir fry. The Jeyuk pizza will start with caramelized onions, green bell pepper, roasted garlic, and plenty of delicious pork with pepperoni on top. After cooking, it's garnished with tomato sauce laced with Korean chili paste and a small sliced green onion salad. They're bringing Korea with Detroit. It's awesome. Starting with the Jeyuk pizza, you gotta get these corner pieces because they're cheesy and crunchy as heck. The cheesiness is very present. Let's try it out. Mmm, I did it. Far off flavors of Korea all in one pizza. What is happening here? These guys have nailed it with the dough and cheese combination. And then they've just piled on some flavors on top of that. Really all the flavors of like a Korean barbecue, smoky, salty. All that's missing is a bottle of soju. And then that is like the complete flavors of Korea in your mouth. The Jukumi pizza is getting a load of these adorable little octopuses topped with a Korean pesto, which includes local perilla leaves for a pop of herby freshness. He handed me this octopus pizza said good luck and then walked away. I don't know what that meant, but to me it looks good. It looks like a delicious, cheesy octopus graveyard. They're burnt little crispy tentacles. It's gooey. Let's try a little octopus on a pizza, guys. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. That pesto, very herby. Strong aromatic flavors on there. A little perfumey almost. I like the octopus. I think that octopus actually works as a protein, but let me know what you guys think. Would you ever eat a pizza with little mini octopuses on it? Come on. It's not that weird. And listen, these two are not on the menu. If you want it on the menu, you should comment below and tell them to put it on the menu. I applaud this extreme fusion innovation, connecting vastly different cooking styles on one pie. But I suggest starting out with the Jackson 5 next time you head to Motor City Pizza in Seoul, South Korea. Now back in Saigon, Vietnam, V and I are making a run to pizza and beer. This local pizzeria has been up and running for just over a year. The creation of Vietnamese native V, who was so inspired after visiting Italy that she took a three month pizza making course, returned to Saigon and opened up shop. Did you go to a pizza school? Yeah. When I grew up, I didn't even know that was an option. I thought I had to study liberal arts and garbage like that. V has adapted her menu to local taste buds with her Saigon Heat pizza, featuring pepperoni, jalapenos, red chili flakes, and capsicum, while still providing classics like the four cheese with mozzarella, goat cheese, parmesan, and gorgonzola, with just a bit of honey to top it off. At pizza school, do they tell you that there's some ingredients that should never go on a pizza? My chef, yes, because he Italian. They never boost like ham and pineapple on their pizza. Her pizza instructor probably wouldn't allow this next pie, but that's not stopping V. Like me, pizza, all my style, they try it and they love it so much, and I decided to put it on the menu. V's Vietnamese pizza fusion takes inspiration from the famous Ban Mi Heo Wei, stacked with juicy roasted pork belly. It starts with baguette bread, then pickled carrot and radish, plenty of roasted pork, cucumber, except in my case, scallions and coriander, couple of hot chilies, and a special sauce that includes garlic, onion, fish sauce, soy sauce, and pork fat. There's some heavy meat, but of course, they're always gonna add some balance in Vietnam. They lighten up with a little bit of the cilantro. And having cilantro in a sandwich adds a really unique taste. It's something I'd never experienced until coming to Vietnam. I'd only had cilantro with Mexican food before, but, but try putting it in a sandwich sometime. It's real nice. So how does she turn this into a pizza? Let's find out. Check it out. This is it's how presto. it's a pizza fetus. This is how pizza is born. Shred it all out. How many pizzas have you made in your life? 50 pizzas a day. So then you kind of just 
toss it around. I like the sound it makes. Yeah, uh, it's like throwing a whoopee cushion on a carpet. You make it look easy. This is the bang me pizza sauce. Soy sauce, the sesame oil, and the spicy mayo. Mozzarella cheese. The most important part, pork belly. It's already cooked, and that's why it's very nice and tender. The next ingredient is uh, pickle, carrot, and daikon. It's make the sweet with the sour. Now the pizza is going into the oven. It will be cooked for five minutes. Here it is. Welcome to the world. This is a cucumber and a coriander leaf. I understand the idea of cucumber. I just don't like it myself. So you like coriander? Yeah, I love coriander. You like spicy stuff? Yeah. Don't add it on the side. No, my favorite part of every banh mi is you don't know which bite is going to be the hot chili. That's it. That is an absolute beauty. Banh mi pizza here at Pizza and Beer V. Thank you so much. V, yeah? did you see about the pizza? Right now, we're gonna get a classic slow motion cheese just peeling off of the pizza type shot. Rah, yeah, wow. It was like a TV commercial, huh? I'm gonna take the cucumber off mine. We got a little bit of coriander, a little bit of a chili, a little bit of everything. Let's go for it. Mmm, mm-hmm. I love it. I got chili in there too. It definitely tastes like bring with the feel from the bang mi because of the cucumber and then the pickle. It's just like the texture of the pork with the crispiness of the crust is kind of a perfect blend. It brings me home to Vietnam to the feel of wrapping my mouth around a delicious banh mi. Yes. Even the daikon works for me. Very snappy, crispy. You know what? It's Vietnam on a pizza. V, thank you so much for joining me today. Strong handshake. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace.